All right, so here it is. Here's my Publix haul or Publix heist for the week. This is $206.74 with the goods. It's all said and done. I had an overage, a money maker of $22.27. And always that total includes the tax. We got to keep it real on our coupon boast here. This is for the week of April 7th to April 16th or April 6th to April 16th if you live up north. So this is a kind of a big uh, big week, uh, kind of a double week. They, I think they, they do this about three times a year. You got uh, Thanksgiving, Easter, and Christmas. And my take on it is, it is they don't want to be changing tags and changing prices. Kind of like, right, is this their busiest, one of their busiest weeks. So they kind of just keep it going. It's a long week. That's what I think. But anyways, let's get right into the, today is Thursday, uh, the first day of the sale. I'm doing this every week, so please subscribe to my channel so you can get these deals right off and do them the rest of the week. So some of these deals will go away because the extra savings book goes away on Friday. Today is Thursday. But um, as I said, please subscribe to my channel so you can get these deals right away and uh, and do them right away. So let's get right into the 13 or best deals of the week that I did and a lot of these may be repeat deals but I did them again because they are still valid so first off cinna, cinnamon toast crunch cinna dust so these are regularly $2.99 each so you buy four of them and it's $11.96 and you got two options you can or I think there's three but yeah I either submit to swag bucks or my points last week I had these I did them to swag bucks now I did them to my points so it's basically a rebate you just take a picture of your receipt submit it and they give you points and points you can use to buy stuff gift cards paypal gift cards even better so these are 2.99 each so for four of them 11.96 and for my points you get 680 points for every two that and i think there's a limited two I actually did two transactions here, so I did this in separate receipts, but 680 points is about equivalent to $4, and then Checkout 51 has a dollar off of each one. So spending eleven ninety six, getting $8 back from my points or swag bucks, and $4 back from Checkout 51, and uh, making that a completely free, but I did have a fetch reward that when I spend over twenty dollars in General Mills products, I believe I got a two dollar two thousand fetch points, so that gave me two more dollars to the good. So two dollars and four cent overage on those for this week. You buy Cotex pads. I had to do it again because the deal they actually dropped the price. They were three thirty five each. Now they're two eighty eight each. So I got six of them this time and. The total came to seventeen twenty-eight, and I used four dollar off a two manufacturer coupon from the Smart Source, March thirteenth. I used three of those. That took twelve off, and I used three of the four dollar off a two Spring Savings Store coupon. I had that in my other video. If you wanna well, see what it looks like, so this was twelve off right there, and twelve off from the manufacturer coupons. So I had a six dollar and seventy-two cent overage on those U by Kotex. Foodie Pasta did this and. That one store who carries the foodie pasta, I go just about once a week. Sometimes I miss a week, but I have the free jar of pasta sauce. I got the links and a detailed breakdown to print all these coupons. And if you didn't catch something that I'm saying, so you can check the details below to get to the detailed breakdown. Advil Infants did this before. This is $5.39 for one of them. And I use a Publix digital coupon for two dollars off, and then there's a store coupon that expires tomorrow for two dollars off. So five thirty nine spent, two dollars off from the Publix digital coupon, two dollars off from the store coupon, making that only a dollar thirty nine. And as always, I was always working up to something. I had a five dollar off of there you go, five dollar off competitor coupon off of fifteen, and I was way over, and I had two of them. So I broke this up into two transactions. Those were my last two left. I had about eight of them, and. Uh, they are finally used, so I can't really show you one. But you can see that I used it. Keep going. Nevia body wash. These are four thirty nine each. So for two of them with tax comes to nine forty four. 
and there's a four dollar off of two manufacturer coupons now it says woman's there so use your bus judgments i guess these are men because it does say men but it scans so use your best judgment on those and then um two dollar off store coupon that expires tomorrow so i use two of those and I used one of those, four dollar off of two. So as I said, nine forty four with tax it came to, and then I got four dollars off, and two of those, so four dollars off and four dollars off. Uh, and also, there's coupons.com has if you spend twenty dollars on Nevia products, and I've been working at that, and I've finally hit that twenty dollar threshold. So I got another four dollars back on those. So I'm making that $2.56 overage for me this week. So that was good. Kodiak, Power Cakes, Flapjacks, whatever you want to call it, Pancake Mix. These are still, there is this printable coupon for a free one. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. Uh, this time I did get it. It was $6.29, and it's totally free for $6.29. You can fit, submit it to Fetch, get it even a, a little more, more off. All right. Ten of Pads. I guess this coupon haul or heist is sponsored by the Tenopads marketing department or the Tenopads coupons because they give so much overage and so many coupons that it helped pay for all this other stuff. Oh, so of course I had to, I got broke this up into two transactions as I said. So I got six of them the first time, six of them the second time in the second transaction. So what you do is you buy six of them or I'll just say I bought I bought 12 of them, so I'm going to do the total on 12 of them. 12 of them were 69.53 with tax. They're 5.39 each, so that's what it comes to with tax. And I used six of these coupons. I used three and three in my two transactions. So I got $30 back from the manufacturer coupon. That is from the Smart Source April 3rd, this Sunday, last Sunday. And so I got $30 back from that. And then from the Spring Savers book, there is $2 off of each one. So I used 12 of those, six and six, two different stores. So I used 12 of those. So that was another $24 off. So I got 30 back from there, $24 back from there. And then there is an activate rewards um, rebate if you spend $30. So when you buy six of them, you're over 30, you're at 32 something. So when you buy, when you buy six of them, you get $10 back in the mail. Obviously, I haven't gotten that back, but I submitted for two of them. You're allowed four per household. So that was $20 more back. And then coupons.com has $1 back on the coupons.com app. So making those total 12 10 of pads, a $5.40 overage when the tax is factored. All right, Bic Solal razors was a better deal but still a good deal 749 each regular price so for two of them with tax cost 1610 and there is a coupon from the extra savings i used two of those two dollar off and i used two of these four dollars off once again that's from the smart source april 3rd so making that uh 16 dollars and 10 cents spent as I mentioned and uh, I got back $12 in coupons making those two razors four dollars and ten cents all right we keep it going Galbani mozzarella cheese regular price is three fifty nine it's on sale for two fifty two for five and there is a dollar fifty off coupon from the same ones same books smart source April 3rd so I made that only a dollar. Keep going. And and once again, as I said, I was building. I got five dollars off, so I was building up to my fifteen dollars. Like that was a big build up, but very easy to reach that with all this stuff. Colgate Optic Toothpaste. And once again, two transactions. So you're allowed two um, coupons and another two coupons. That's the manufacturer coupon. So these are three fifty nine each. So the regular price of these would be fifteen forty four when you factor the tax. Kind of expensive, but they're BOGO this week. So for four of them, they only cost me $7.72. And I used four of these to, it says limited to, so do two different transactions. I used four of those, and I used four of these. This is also from the extra savings book, so a lot of extra savings deals here. Making that, and then I submitted to coupons.com. You get $3 off of two. 
and use your best judgment on that. I, you know, I got so much stuff here. I don't know if they can determine if I used a coupon for them or not. But three dollars off from back from coupons.com um, app. So that made a three dollar and twenty eight cent overage for those guys. <coughs> All right, keep going, Flora Star. It's so regularly $19.99. They're on sale this week for $14.99. And there's a manufacturer printable coupon for $6 off. I got the link to print that below. And then uh, coupons.com also has $6 back. So $14.99 spent. $6 and $6. $12 in coupons and rebates. Making that only $2.99. Drove of Water. It's on sale. These are already $2.50. They're on sale. Three for five. So $1.67. Publix Digital Coupon takes a dollar off. Making that only $0.67 cents for that. And always check the clearance rack. These are regular price $8.99. And there's tax on them. So for two of them with tax comes to $19.33. However, they were on clearance. So when they go to clearance, they usually knock them half price. So they were $4.49. With tax, came they came to $9.65. And there's a $2 off manufacturer coupon from the smart source march 27th and from the spring savers book there's four dollars off of two so that was really good and make sure you clip your digital coupon there's a digital coupon for four dollars off of two and that also came off so i had that clip that made that a two dollar and thirty cent thirty five cent overage on those so once again i had two of those target coupons at five dollars off of 15 that i use one in that transaction one in this transaction i got no more threshold category competitor coupons left for next week so well not next week but we'll see what happens by next week so once again over 200 dollars worth of goods and over a 22 dollar overage money maker once again paid to shop you can check out my you know, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out my other paid to shop videos there every week. And you can check my track record there that I've been paid every time I leave the grocery store. So hope everybody enjoys their couponing this week and enjoys their Easter.